Hello, my name is Konstantin Mikhailov, and I'm Delivery Architect at CTG. This video is designed to introduce branching and merging strategy being employed at CTG for software development lifecycle. CTG development teams follow feature branching or branching by feature methodology. This methodology helps two types of teams perform their daily jobs. First type is our development team, whose job is to develop new sets of features for the client. There is also a support team whose main objective is to maintain and support current client's website. We start by establishing our main branch in TFS and adding web project baseline code to it. The main purpose of this branch is to contain golden copy of our client's code base. The main branch is not designed for daily checkouts or check-ins. It is designed only to perform branching and merging and no development code can be committed to this branch unless it is merged from other branches. Once we have our main branch established, we are ready to create a release branch. This branch is used for applying hot fixes only and not for development of any new features. Once we create the release branch of the main branch, we apply a label identifying version of our client site's code base. The same label is applied to our main branch. At this point, both of our branches are in sync. Let's go ahead and create first development branch. This branch is designed to support a release of client's requested first set of features. It will also help our development team to follow source development methodology based on Scrum Bound. Let's see separate training video on Scrum Bound. As you can see from this example, the first development team is tasked with delivering one major release with two sprints. Each sprint produces potentially shippable product which is then deployed to key environment after each sprint has been completed. Please note that our deployments to key environment have been arranged from the corresponding development branch. In other words, QA deployments from the development branch are done at the end of each sprint in order to support sprint's QA testing activity. Let's assume that while our first development team is progressing with the development, client has asked us to deliver another set of features in a separate release. Both of these releases are independent from each other. As a result, we'll need two development teams working in parallel without affecting each other's work. In order to accommodate this requirement, we need to establish our second deploy a development branch with the three sprints as shown here. Now, two teams can work independently from each other onto different branches. Another scenario that we want to touch upon is our production live website support. We always use release branch for any production fixes. For instance, if there was a severity one bug reported by the user, we open up solution from our release branch, apply a fix, and then check back into the release branch. We also deploy this fix to our UAT environment for verification and validation. After successful verification, we need to merge this fix into main and our two active development branches. This way, we can be assured that our fix is part of any current development process and won't be flagged as a bug again. After first team completes its work, it is time for end-to-end -end regression testing. In order to proceed with this type of testing, we are required to merge code base from our development branch into main and then perform QA deployment from that main branch. If our regression testing is a success, we move it into UAT testing phase by merging our main branch with the release branch and then deploying our project into UAT environment from our release branch. We do similar merging after our second team completes its work. Don't forget to apply labels along the way. They will allow you to extract specific version of your code base if such need arises. Thank you.